From Divine Sister of the Light, Lauren Carolyn Gorgo. Star Seed to Star Born, Quantum Change Agents. This is the week we've been waiting for, working toward all year. The week of the 8-8 Lion's Gate, our final exit from duality. When the doorway to New Earth officially opens, akin to the last part of active labor, a.k.a. transition. This year's tremendously challenging energies have been pushing and pushing us to birth our starlight with little to no reprieve and have now reached their climax, says two X-class solar flares two days apart. The ultimate manifestation point for those prepared to enter the cosmic reality of life on Earth. From the Arcturian perspective, the whole galaxy has been gearing up for this auspicious benchmark in human history, as this is not only the ceremonial opening to New Earth, but the permanent release point from duality for the first wave, that is the final end to separation, 3D and 4D timelines, and our return to oneness which means these 8-8 eight eight ascension energies and codes are reuniting us with all aspects of soul and our galactic star families. With this I am seeing new chakra system upgrades and light body activations, waking up dormant DNA structures that are going to lead to dramatic changes over the next several years. These are the seeds, codes, of our original divine human genetic potential which means we are finally beginning a new life cycle that includes our full biological capabilities. From this day forward, all those who choose to enter the realms of bliss and harmony are hereby granted permission, under the condition that your karmic debts have been settled and you are completely purified of all evil doing. In preparation for this planetary shifting week, We've been faced with a last round of intensive core wound work that was triggered by the Aquarius full supermoon on August 1st. That full moon offered those at the fore the ability to leave behind the last of our Piscean Age struggles so that we can now step fully into the Aquarian Age consciousness as the cosmic settlers of New Earth. As this was the last full moon before the Lion's Gate, it was an essential part of our final freedom from oppression, that is freeing the Christ within, which means it was and is forcing us to let go of that which we cannot take with us through Heaven's Gate. This Uranus-ruled lunar event, which will be in effect until the Leo New Moon on 8-16, the day before the second 8-8 Stargate of the month, had a lot to do with overcoming the lower mind and rising above our subconscious, unconscious programming, so that moving forward we don't make the same mistakes and repeat the same behaviors that led to our suffering in duality. We are pulling out of that now, forgiving ourselves and others for their trespasses, flipping those scripts, and getting our power back over those thoughts and beliefs that were once in control of our destiny. If you are still facing the adversity kicked up from that supermoon, know that we are simply releasing the last vestiges of the Piscean Age persecution template and that you will come into greater balance with the harmonic frequencies as you are able to let go of each and every attachment to your old life, whether it be a person, place, thing, dream, or figurative idea. You can't take it with you. All that was conceived from the density must be left with the density. For the physical manifestation, harvest, of our dharmic destiny, bounty, to come into alignment with the material realm. There can be no courting to causality, which means all emotional ties must be resolved. Remember that opening heaven's gate means closing the door to duality, which is a choice. To choose out of density, use the power of this primary gateway to forgive and forget, to let go and let love, to refrain from focusing on the past and set your sights on the blissful light at the end of this long, dark tunnel. From New Earth Institute. Love.